What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Eleventh Hour Gaming Channel. I'm AJ Gales. We are back playing Alan Wake. Uh, last video. Here, he was probably in trouble down at the farm. For a moment, I felt bad for doubting him. After all, I made it this far myself. But Barry was Barry. Uh, last video. You know we. Uh... What happened last video? <laughs> uh, we ma making our way over to uh, the Crazy Brothers Farm. We, uh, you know, got into a, another car crash. Yeah, because that seems to be a central theme of this game. Just stay out of cars. Um, God, I'm trying to remember how to... Okay, it's A. That's what focuses the headlights. Um... I got. I gotta see what's something in there. Um, but yeah, we were driving here, so Bear, we lost Barry. Looks like he's uh, he went over to the farm, and uh, we had to hike through the woods like always. Uh, and then from the woods, we um, went got to that guy's house, or that house that we were just at. You know, guy. Uh, Fought a fought a taken, left read a manuscript page, all that. Yeah, so uh, yeah, exciting episode. Go check it out. I know my uh, my description was just fantastic. <laughs> well. As I'm sure everyone's noticed, that storm we all felt coming is finally here. The boys at the Weather Service reckon it'll last until morning, at the very least. Uh, pertaining to that, let me uh, read that missing person's alert again. The Sheriff's Department's still looking for Love the hunting rifle. See, the shotgun would take about two blasts to uh, take out one of those big guys. The uh, hunting rifle? Nah, it's pretty much one shot. Pretty much one shot's anything. No one else here breathing. Huh, they're attacking me as soon as I got out the door. That's funny. Thought they would. Back on track. Holy
Looks like I, uh, I'm not driving anymore. That's not terrifying. I know I've been saying that like all game, but no. <laughs> it's like, man, that that darkness like haunts everything. I know I want to go check that out, but Aha, I was right. I'm serious, I hear breathing, and it's really freaking me out. Like, I'm trying to think if that was there the entire game, or if it's something new. <laughs> Holy crap! I'd known the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. <laughs> Valhalla. Oh, run! They're coming! There's too many of them! God damn! Oh yeah. I'm so glad you decided to go it alone, Mr. Bronson. Shut up and shoot! Ow! We have to fight them all! I can set off more of the fireworks from here and help you out! Hey, Al! You notice there's a lot of ammo and stuff around? Oh. This place is stopped! Al, hold on! I'll try to get the stage lights on!
that is bright. <laughs> that was awesome! Bright Falls, rock and roll capital of America. I will say anybody who didn't think that was awesome, yes, screw loose. All right, fully loaded. All in. This way to the farm. The only thing I'm missing is a uh, is a flare gun. Some reason we can't just climb that fence. See, bestseller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. We need to get this thing moved out of the way. This is as far as I got before they ambushed me. Barry, why did you save that stupid cardboard cutout? I, I, I don't know, I think some people wouldn't like the fact that Barry's in this game. I mean, you know, I, I think all horror movies kind of need that stupid friend, that bit of comic relief that makes it not just terrible. I could just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. Yeah, it was pretty good. <laughs> you want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? Thought so. <laughs> wow! <laughs> you look at that thing, Al? They really went all out with this Viking crap, didn't they? Look at all this stuff! They must have done okay for themselves, so how come I never heard of these guys before? Sleep. Oh, night spring. Hey, remember when I got you that gig? Your first Bring real writing job. What got you started? Was this one of your episodes? Alright, 23 rifle rounds. 42 in my pistol. Madness reigns at the Anderson farm. Contrary to all logic, the headiest ingredient of their moonshine is unfiltered water from Cauldron Lake. The Andersons feel like gods. Odin can't stop laughing. He contemplates cutting his eye out. Tor runs across the field, naked, shrieking, hammer in his hand, trying to catch lightning. Their songs have power. Something ancient is stirring in the depths, coming back. Yeah, that's probably not a good thing. The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram.
It's like a movie on fast forward. Huh. Didn't even need to shoot that one. How come Barry got through all that without having to shoot anything? That's not fair. Wow! Those geezers had quite a production going on. Ooh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Good luck with that, pal. Hey, you find us a way out of here, okay? I'm gonna take a closer look at this stuff. Now, I'm not gonna lie, like when we, you know, like I, like I'm a guy of music, you know, I'm like I, I, you know, I like I like a lot of different stuff, you know. I'm I'm in some metal bands, but um, you know, when I was the door was barred from the other side, I'd have to find another way. Um, but when uh, you know, we were, we were defending that um, that stage, man, that song that was playing was. Really freaking good. Wasn't as heavy metal though as from a. Wasn't as a uh, metal as you'd uh, think it would be from a band called the Old Gods of Asgard. Still pretty good. I know I'm going to get jumped. <laughs> oh, right. Now we're cooking. Now we're really cooking. As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night. I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, how busy are you now? Deerfest is almost here, isn't it? I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. 
Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff. Which concerns an ongoing investigation. could see the building that had to be the Anderson's home on the other side of the field. It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned-out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. Why are they just why why are they so angry? You know, I don't know why I love it so much that the pistol that Wake is always carrying is a is a um, revolver. I just do. Uh, Al, is that you? I had to find buddy? a key to get Barry out. Yeah, it's me. Hang on, I'll try to find a key to get the door open. Can we just shoot it? together to open this gate now looks pretty heavy ah! hey I think that's the farm on the other side of the field we're almost there this farm is a crazy place for crazy people we should feel right at home then takes crazy to understand crazy come on one more gate let's do this ah! That's not foreboding. Not at all. Old gods know the truth. The lights are out. I guess we better check the fuse box. The power downstairs was out. But I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. You know, this place looks kind of lived in. I thought the Andersons were in the booby hatch. Again, Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself run toward the cabin, flashlight in my hand. I followed my past self. I was an out-of-body observer. A time traveler in a crazy drunken dream. This was the beginning. The night Alice had disappeared. The mystery of what had happened during the missing week was about to reveal itself. Can you hear that, Al? You 
music? Of course. We need to find where it's coming from. That's the message the Andersons talked about. That's the whole reason we're here. Lady of the Light? Oh, that's gotta be... What's your face? The crazy lamp lady from the town. Cynthia Weaver. Right. Must be. I kind of like that. That's kind of a nice groove. Okay. We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is... Yeah. What the hell? Alright, anyone out there who knows where I can find that song or if it's actually a full song... Tell me, because that thing is, I, I really like it. It's on a nice groove. Right? Even though you're a crazy bastard, I'm going to stick by you. No matter what. Ever, Al. Sure, like a brother. I'm a writer, goddammit. Correct. If I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year. And, and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. drunken dream and yet it was more than that it was the truth a suppressed memory unearthed by the anderson's moonshine i was there an out-of-body observer this was the night alice and i had arrived at bright falls the night alice had disappeared i had a chance to find out what had happened i remember alice? being surprised alice. to see the cabin dark alice would have never turned the lights off I remembered thinking, I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. <sighs> Beyond this lost memory, there was nothing. I had to follow the footsteps of my past self to find out what had happened that night. Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. <coughs> Alice! Jagger had Alice, Alice, and so she had me. Alice! <coughs> I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. Yeah, that's not frightening at all. Oh, 
you know, creepy woman in a funeral dress, you know, the thing about your wife drowning. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me, made me her puppet. There's an image. She must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! You'll laugh at the whole thing together and put it behind you. She's not here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you right. You killed her. Ah! Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Okay, is it bad that I like all I could do was focus on that owl in the background? Yes. All right. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. I almost peed myself right there. Holy hell. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week. Almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish, to interrupt the horror story before the ending where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. It is here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. We'll know I'm here. It will be back soon. It stole the skin of my armor a long time ago. She looks so old. I had woken up, confused and groggy, my mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. I sound from Bioshock. The week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. It had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. He's just naming all the writers he knows. Also, I like the Joyce thing. That's kind of funny. God, I love the music. I'm just gonna let the song play because the song is pretty good. Uh, but you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, on my website down in the description below. Hit me up uh, down in the comments, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm AJ Gales. This is the Gaming Channel. I'm out. <laughs>